Today, we are going to be taking a look at the man who had decided to make himself known as the reality star villain. Hello everyone, and welcome to Johnny Fairplay is a Menace. John Dalton, also known in the entertainment industry as Johnny Fairplay. There's a viral video that's going around on YouTube right now that it popped up on my feed and I was like, what in the world is this? But I knew one of the names on there. Danny Bonaducci. I don't really know the context of the whole situation, but he made everybody in this crowd mad at the Really Awards for doing something or probably just showing up because of how much of an asshole he is, which we'll get into that in a second. And he took it upon himself whenever Danny Bonaducci came up onto the stage to tell him nobody likes you to jump on him and then get his ass handed to him by Danny Bonaducci immediately afterward. They're booing. Because they hate you. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. I cannot believe that that guy would be so upset that Danny Bonaduce had thrown him over his head because he decided to go ahead and go up and do some weird shit to him, start dry humping his face or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know why that guy did that. Apparently it was a thing that they did before. I don't know. A lot of the comments on here were actually very interesting on it though. I love when he stays on the stage afterwards shrugging for a full minute. They're booing because they hate you. Danny told it like it was. There is justice in the world. Thank you, Danny. And I'm sitting here and I'm just like, hey, I mean, I like the entertainment whenever people get hurt. Don't get me wrong. I don't know why people are saying this stuff. So I decided to dig deeper. Johnny Fairplay, from what I've found, is a former art consultant. He was a professional wrestler. And now he's a reality TV personality. I mean, that, that, that I guess that's the main calling, the main name that he wanted to have for himself was that he was going to be the asshole that nobody liked on TV, but he still got the ratings. He had signed up twice for Survivor. Um, Survivor, I guess, is just, that's the go to from like 2000 to 2010 like hey you want to have a big chance to be on reality tv sport well join survivor and he i guess created what the host of that show called the greatest lie in survivor history and that's the one that i really really want to dive into this dude decided to have a friend come on and they were getting ready to do a challenge right and his friend came on and before this tape aired before they even got like ready to do stuff on the island he told his friend come on and say my grandma died so i could get sympathy points and this is how that went she died dude. did you get the letter You would think with me kind of acting sarcastic, you'd be like, Jacob, how could you? The thing is, is that this was pre-planned out. So like you could see he's sitting there and he is so distraught and upset. And he's like, oh my God, my grandma just died. I'm, I'm going to do this for her. This is where it gets really interesting. They start the game, okay? And he says he's going to do it for her and they're going to do all sorts of good stuff and they're going to win. Lil. I say Sandra. Sandra's husband, Marcus. Take a step back. Johnny Fairplay. I mean, I have about a million questions I'd like to know about my grandmother, but obviously some people don't give a f so. Sandra's it's not husband. all about you all the time. Right. His grandmother just died. Sandra's husband is my choice. Well, comes down to this. Bert, big decision for you. If you choose Lonnie, Johnny Fairplay gets his buddy. If you choose Dan, we go to another question. I'm gonna have to go with Lonnie. I'm sorry, man, you've got an amazing wife. Why Lonnie? Um, because John's news is, I mean, it's the worst day of his life. He won the challenge. He got what he wanted. Yeah, I can only imagine whoever would be like really in tune with Survivor. They're just sitting here just like, yes, yes. I am so glad that that Johnny is able to reconcile with his friend and then figure out what happened with his grandmother. He really needs answers, right? Oh, man. That was a brilliant performance, sir. You like that? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Did you like mine? I couldn't cry, I tried. I don't know if I brought on a couple tears for you. It was sweat. 
My grandmother's sitting home watching Jerry Springer right now. <laughs> God damn it, Jerry Springer, even from the dead, you're still making people watch your damn show and have their grandchildren lie. How could you? He's saying, he's he's openly saying it to the camera. He's just like, yeah, my grandma's at home. She's watching Jerry Springer right now. You really think she's dead? On top of it all, whenever they do this reunion episode and talk about it. definitely still alive. This is uh, John's grandmother, Jean. So did you know? This is his grandma. And she even said that she didn't, uh, like, she didn't tell him to do it. She was not in on it. She it was surprised as everybody else. She said the first time that she figured out about it was whenever they called because they felt bad on the show and they tried to call to see if there was anything they could do for the family. And guess what? Guess what? She answered. The grandmother also says, well, you got to do what you got to do to win. It was, a game. It, 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 it was a game. It was a game. She's like, it was a game. It was a game. Who cares? Dude, it, it doesn't matter. Like he said the biggest fucking lie. But you know what? I will say this. Everybody believed it, especially like people before they saw like their little get together. He was openly saying it. I guarantee you everybody was just like that mother Fuck. Then it leads to where Johnny Fairplay is today and he went on to this YouTube channel called the Hannibal TV and talked about Danny Bonaducci breaking his jaw. This is what he has to say about all of it. This Danny Bonaducci thing, was it a work or was that legitimate? No, it was pretty shitty timing for me uh, life-wise and career-wise. So it was at the Fox Reality Awards uh, eight days before I was supposed to leave for Survivor fans versus favorites. I had met Bonnet, what, so on Survivor, like I used to do the flying, I would jump into people's arms. And then like, I had met Bonnet Ducci twice before and I, and the last time I met him, I had jumped to him like that and he carried me around for like 45 minutes, you know? And so, uh, so I came out there, I was presenting it. And um, what I didn't know, I guess, um, many things. So, there, I've been on 70 plus reality shows, like, you know, Celebrity Fear Factor, Celebrity Poker Showdown, Kill Reality, Camp Reality, Celebrity Bull Riding, Celebrity Dooley Weight, like all these shows. And in a lot of those shows, when they, whenever they were looking for a bad guy, uh, it would come down to me or Bonaducci. And they're just like, well, you know, Fairplay acts crazy, but he's actually not. He's, he's very easy to work with production-wise, and Bonaducci's actually crazy. He goes, uh, he goes, if I see Johnny Fairplay tonight, I'm gonna physically fucking hurt him. Damn, what a surprise. Whenever you act like an asshole on television, sometimes karma decides to come back and bite you. Well, at least he has got his face fixed and he's basically like good to go. He he seems like that he's taking it with stride. I, I don't know if he's really remorseful or if he's just kind of playing it up a little bit or whatever. I don't think that he has any remorse to be honest with you. If you're able to get in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people and tell them that your grandmother died, then yeah, he probably has no remorse at all.